Hey everybody, Josh here, StarterRingGutterBusiness.com. Today we're gonna do a quick walkthrough on a inside and outside strip miter installation tutorial, so. five inch strip miter from Lansing Building Products. And we're doing this on uh, simulated copper today. And the fascia and everything, they're kind of remodeling right now. So they're gonna paint that at a later date. So we're not too worried about that in this video. Anyways, I know it kind of looks a little dingy right now, but um, I got my gutters. They're both, the back of the gutter is both ran about a quarter short. And then I made sure when I was installing that the back corners of this gutter are uh, parallel to each other. So the front, you don't really worry about when you're installing because it's adjustable, but the rear, this rear corner is what you really want to pay attention to when you're bolting your gutter on. So I kind of just kind of flex these out, slide that corner in there, make sure it's sitting nice and tight. And I always start with these front ones. So I'll get it all kind of mocked up, make sure everything's sitting nice and tight. And then I'll angle my zip screw up a little bit to help suck that up suck that whole corner up into the gutter. And then with this other side, I'll make sure and I wanna match the screw to where these are about even and in the same spot on each side. And I'll do my, I'll move back to my back ones next. And I'm looking for like a nice uniform look on these. So I kind of pay attention to the where the corner of the corner is, the edge of the corner is. So those screws all look pretty uniform on like a nice pattern. So I always do six on the face. That helps uh, with expansion, contraction. I used to not do these ones on the bottom, but what happens is when they push and pull with weather changes and temperature changes, it'll split that glue in the bottom. So putting these extra screws in the bottom is well worth the time. It helps uh, keep that glue lasting longer and everything holding together. And then I'll also put two zip screws up here in the top back, just into the fascia. All right, ready for glue. So I always make sure and use plenty of glue. I use about a third of a tube per corner is what it works out to most of the time. It's a lot cheaper to use a little extra glue than to have to go back to a job for a leaky corner. So I just keep that in mind. And I kind of try to push that glue into all the crevices in there and then on all my zip screws also. And after that's glued, I just kind of um, press it all down to the metal on the edges to make sure it bonds to the metal really well. I used to not do this step and it cost me a lot of money. Okay, so inside the strip miter, pretty much the same process. I'll kind of wiggle my gutters around, help it slide up in there. It always helps to kind of step back and look at it before you screw it together. So this one's setting a little bit funny, so I'm gonna try to compensate for that a little bit with my screws. So. I, this fascia was sitting a little bit crooked and so it makes it look better if you can kind of straighten that gutter out before you put the corner on. So I just put my screwdriver behind there carefully, popped it in, and that kind of helped level everything out a little bit. There it is. OK, 
Okay, so it's pretty much the same thing on the inside corner. Just make sure there's plenty of glue on top of those screws. Over time, that's one weak point of these screws is that screw, as soon as this glue starts drying and settling, the tip of the screw will be the first point to get eaten through. So with sun and weather and all that. So I just try to put a little extra on top of the zip screws, especially in the bottom. And then as far as your fingers go, you don't want to get that tr tracked everywhere. So I always wipe it off on the inside front edge of the gutter, make sure my hands are back to clean. So I don't track that glue around everywhere on the job. So yeah, there we go, corner installation. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure and like our video, comment below, helps us out with new ideas and we'll see you on the next one. No, this is a bad one to do. <laughs> I can. Okay, go ahead. Okay.